Folks, you know that moment when you submit an essay and it gets flagged as AI generated? Or when you need multiple intelligent tools but can't afford all those subscriptions? Well, I recently discovered Rhine. This might be the most comprehensive platform I've tested this year. I'm Daniel. Welcome to my channel where I make smart tutorials. Today I'll show you how Rhine works. We'll explore their humanizer, multi-model chat, essay composer, and AI detection tools. Also, I've left all the useful links in the description down below, so don't forget to check them out. So let's dive in. Alright, my friends, let's talk about what makes Rhine special. This isn't just another AI tool. It's a complete platform that combines everything you need in one place. The platform includes four main tools. There's the humanizer, chat, essay composer, and AI report. Each one solves a specific problem that students and professionals face daily. Folks, what really stands out is their approach to AI detection. While other tools simply spin words or trick detectors, Ryan uses something called semantic pattern randomization. This keeps your text natural and readable while bypassing even the strictest detectors. The platform works with every major AI detector you can think of. That includes Turnitin's latest update, GPT-0, Zero GPT, and Ryla. Guys, this level of compatibility is rare in the market. Instead of paying $20 per month for each AI platform, Ryan gives you access to a lot of AI tools in one subscription. The value proposition here is incredible. Guys, let's start with their most popular feature. The Humanizer tool is what put Ryan AI on the map, and for good reason. First, I'll upload some text that needs humanizing. The system immediately detects this as 99% bot-generated content. No surprises there. But now comes the interesting part. You can choose the language for humanization. There are also options for writing style, content type, and various settings for fine-tuning. The settings include a lot of things, starting from creativity level or length ratio and finishing with style mimicking controls. This level of customization is impressive. Let me click Humanize and see what happens. Guys, the AI starts working to transform this text. It rewrites and restructures sentences multiple times. The goal is to make it sound completely human-written. Folks, look at this output. The humanized text shows 0% AI detection. That's exactly what we want to see. Now I'll copy this text and test it in the AI report section. This will show us how different detectors respond to the content. Let's wait for the testing results. Here we have the AI detection report for our test text. Four different detectors show their findings. Guys, Turnitin shows 45%, which is orange level. This indicates moderate probability. But Turnitin is known as the strictest detector, especially in academic environments. For a text improved by artificial intelligence, this result is actually satisfactory. GPT-0 shows 2% with green level. It effectively gives our humanized text a pass. Same with 0GPT at 3%. And Ryla shows just 1%. That means complete invisibility to this detector. These results show something important. Different AI detectors use different algorithms and have varying sensitivity levels. Ryan's semantic pattern randomization effectively bypasses most detectors. Now, guys, let's move to the next feature. This is a chatbot that can use multiple models simultaneously. You have access to all the major models. That includes everything from GPT-5 and Claude to DeepSeek and Perplexity Sonar. Folks, you can work with Ryan just like any other chatbot. I'll ask it to compare Python and JavaScript for machine learning applications. This software delivers a comprehensive research result. This text covers the advantages and disadvantages of both programming languages. The content is detailed and well-structured. The system shows this text is 100% AI-generated. But here's where it gets interesting. By clicking the Humanize button, we can transform this text without leaving the chat interface. The smart tool humanizes the content and shows the new detection score. The result is 3%, which is very low. Based on what we saw in the report analyzer, we don't need to worry about this text being flagged. Guys, let me take a little break to ask you to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free, but helps me make even more fun tutorials for you. Thanks! 
folks, let's explore the Essay Composer. This is a unique tool that doesn't just write essays. It provides genuine scientific references and real scholarly citations. I can input a research prompt in natural language. The system finds the perfect prompt structure for academic research. This is a very convenient approach. Guys, there are two main sections here. Reference material lets you add relevant files or images for context. The text field is for additional instructions or requirements. You can specify writing style, volume, academic level, even particular research focuses. Let me set up a prompt about machine learning in healthcare and click Next. The system asks how many words the essay should contain. I'll choose the medium option of 1000 words, but it can generate up to 3000 if needed. Now it shows six main essay types. There's the classic standard format, suitable for most topics. This is the most universal type with traditional structure. You also get comparative, argumentative, and persuasive essay styles. In addition, there are critical analysis and memoir styles available. Guys, for our machine learning topic, I'll choose argumentative type. This lets us present arguments for using ML in medical diagnostics. Next step is choosing the writing style. The academic one provides scientific tone. Professional offers clear business tone for formal writing. Creative gives engaging descriptive style with vivid language. Folks, there's also custom style, where you can clone personal writing patterns. For our scientific topic, the academic one fits perfectly. This ensures formal academic approach with research references. The citation style selection is crucial. Unlike other AI tools that might generate fake references, Ryan creates real academic citations. By default, it uses APA 7, which is most common in social sciences. Guys, other styles follow their own citation patterns. MLA 9 uses author page, Chicago has two variants, and there is a default style option. The system generates essay structure automatically. We can preview what it suggests or add our own points if something doesn't fit our needs. Let's generate the essay. In just a few minutes, our essay is created. The tool shows 99% bot-generated content because it hasn't been humanized yet. We can review everything in the text. There are citations that link to actual sources, and they aren't fake. These are actual references to real reports. What you see here are genuine scientific works in medicine. You can absolutely rely on them. This is a completely different approach to academic writing. Guys, the essay includes a conclusion with findings and reference list with all our sources. We can click Humanize right here or copy to clipboard. Let me humanize this text and get it down to 1% detection. The system transforms the article so it reads like human writing and it's still maintaining academic quality. All right, folks, let's wrap this up. Ryan is one of those platforms that feels effortless, but delivers real value. For students, professionals, and businesses who need reliable AI tools, this is honestly a game changer. You get humanization, multi-model chat, essay writing, and AI detection all in one platform. If you're excited to try it out, or if you've already used it and have some thoughts to share, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your experiences. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching, until next time.